That's beautiful. We're on an incline, so I can't change cameras and get a better look, but I feel like I may have reached peak middle of nowhere. Not much here. Welcome back to another cycling vlog. Today we are headed toward Chunju or Chunju. I don't know exactly how you say it. I think Chunju. It looks much more beautiful out today, much less clouds, at least for now. The first thing we need to do is figure out how to get the bike back out of this room. This is a very small room, and uh, the lady helped me get everything up here on this very, very small elevator that you have to like stand the bike up. We are on the fifth floor, which is actually the fourth floor. If you don't know, in a lot of Asian countries, they treat the number four like we treat 13 in the US where there's some superstition around it. So even though it says fifth, I'm really on the fourth floor. It looks like I wasn't the only person who chose this little motel last night because I just heard two more bikes going out of the room next to me. You can hear like that clicking sound like when the bike is being pushed and I could hear them clearly loading it into the elevator like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Okay, the bike is down and I'm checked out. One of the things I really love about the motels here is how easy it is to just check out. It's easy to get in. I can check in at any time. I don't have to wait till three, like hotels and Airbnbs want me to. And then in the morning, whenever I'm ready to go, it doesn't matter if there's nobody at the desk or there's no one around. They have a box, you just leave the key in and you're good to go. We'll head for the first certification center. We've actually got a long day ahead of us. It's gonna be basically tied with the longest ride we did before. It's about three and a half hours with how much stopping I normally do. That's gonna be six or seven hours so it's gonna be a long day for sure but let's do it wow the sun rays beautiful i don't know if you guys can see it on the gopro but pretty beautiful there's not so much here but back that way the fog over the river this morning really beautiful i expect to see much more fog like that maybe there has been i'm actually starting a little bit earlier today about a half an hour to an hour earlier. So maybe it's been there, but I've been a little bit too late. Beautiful, so beautiful. There it is, guys. The bridge that I bet money we would be on today. Let's do it. Ooh. A lot of vibrating on this bridge. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's beautiful though. Steve. Gorgeous. Crossing this bridge means that right up there, that's the park we were at yesterday. And I see interesting stuff. I definitely would have wanted to stop and explore this morning. But now we can just ride on by. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go back and check that one out. The park was pretty cool. I'm nicknaming it Bunny Park. Guys, this convenience store actually had bananas. I was so hot. I don't know if the other ones had them. I just didn't see you before, but I saw these right as I was about to check out. I'm like, yes. The goal for today is to reach the city of Chengju. This is a pretty good distance, but as I'll soon find out, getting to this city proves to be totally worth it. Just so you guys know, if you're doing this trip on the trail, you're gonna pass a big hotel called Sun Valley Hotel. Uh, you could stay there or you could stay in one of the motels back in town or right past that hotel is this huge campsite, which I actually did see on the map. And this is where I was originally considering staying last night until I saw that rain was a possibility. Of course, it didn't rain that much. This looks like it would have been a nice place to stay. It smells good, everyone's cooking their breakfast. Yeah, this is an option, keep that in mind. Going through that campsite was so nostalgic, man. The smells of campfire, the mist and the dew, the smell of people cooking, the cool, chill morning air. God, it brings me back. I used to do a lot of camping when I was a kid. That was a pretty nostalgic smell and feeling. Guess what we found? Comment right now, what do you think it is? Yeah, that's right, it's another dam. You guys are good guessers. Probably gonna see a ton of these. And over here, there's a building that looks a lot like where we got the bike passport. I almost would think I'm back there.
Yeah, it's a K Water building. Can anybody tell me what does K Water have to do with the cycling? I understand we're gonna see a lot of K Water places because we're by all the rivers. This is another place you can buy another bike passport if you want. You buy it at all these K Water stations. I don't know how they're related. I'd love to hear about it. Also, I realized standing here, I'm like, wait a minute. If there's a K Water station here, then there's probably a phone booth. And I looked ahead, I can see it. <laughs> we're pretty much there. The next one, actually I stamped it twice because the first one, it only gave me half a stamp because it was near the seam. So I wanted to uh, make sure I had the full one in there. So it's in there twice. Also, one of the guys who was stopped here, he gave me this. I don't know what it is. He just ha handed me it. He said, rip it and eat it. Of course, I'm going to translate it first and see what it is because I don't drink caffeine. And if it has caffeine in it, I mean, I really don't know what it is. We need to see. Google Translate is saying sheep gang, which is not right. Nothing's coming up. I mean, I have a Korean keyboard. I can just type these in. I'll do it later though. We need to keep going. Next stop, Busan. No, 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 no. I actually need to figure out where the next certification point is. I'm not sure. Okay, I found it. The next one's about two hours away according to Kakao Maps. So we got to get moving. Eating some crackers really quick. My stomach was growling. Looks like we're headed across the bridge, guys. Another one. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. We're on an incline, so I can't change cameras and get a better look, but let's continue down. Okay, I just want to stop again really quick and mention because it's happened a few times and it just happened again. I think I might have had it on the video actually. A lot of other cyclists, when they see my bike and they see all the stuff on it, they're like, oh, and then they're like, <laughs> I don't know what they're trying to say, but it's interesting. It's happened quite a few times. Maybe the reason that guy gave me that thing is he's like, hey, it's some kind of like energy jelly or something maybe. Maybe he's like, this guy needs it, man. Look at all that, Jesus Christ. Incline, here we go, baby. Here we go, baby. Come on, you can do it. All right, pretty short, not bad. <sighs> I feel like I may have reached peak, middle of nowhere. Not much here. It's cold but hot. I don't know how I feel about this weather. It's chilly. When I'm riding, it feels chilly. As soon as I stop, my body is still hot. It's not chilly enough when I'm not riding. I get really sweaty. I feel like I've definitely reached the point in the trail where people are either going to Busan or to Incheon. Before there were a lot of people just cycling around, doing other things, but now, most everyone I see seems serious. They're always asking me, Busan? I'm like, nah. They're like, ah, oh, me too, me too. It's cool. I thought maybe I hit some limit, some wall. That was killing me, dude. Dude, this place is creepy because I can hear screaming over there. It's a little unnerving. 